This email is leaving the station. Please move to the center of the email and away from the doors. Dear Strongman, I have recently been wondering about the origin of the stick. Has it always been a good place for hanging out and making rendezvous? This? Luke. Ew, Claire? Why? Oh, why do you find people just always want to know the origins and histories of every freaking little thing? Like, do you want to know how Strong Sad got his belly button too? Oh, awesome! Or like, the origin of Bub's concession stand? Senior having a little trouble, and Mr. Bland were by far the most popular characters. Then they were crushed by a falling Bub's concession stand. Hot time, said Bub's. Well, I'm not going to show you those things, or the origin of the stick. But I will indulge your curiosity about the stick's hanging altitude. It currently rates a 10, but such was not always the case. Like when Homestar used to hold his weekly bread sing-alongs. We avoided that place like the plague. Er, plague. Hey, bread is a good time for me. Little singing bread is a good time for everybody. We sure sniped that problem right between the eyes from 300 yards by scheduling the cheat's rhythmic chain dancing recitals to the same time and place. I cut the crust off in the morning light. He's quite cool. Fog's grace! After a couple of minutes, the popularity of Homestar's sing-alongs faded, and Strong Mad ate the cheat's chain whip. So that's when the stick became a great place to spray paint marzipan. To me, this is something that losers would do. Or oh, this is gonna be my freshest piece yet. Strong Mad, that looks like cooking spray. What? Oh, that's some never forgive action right there. But spray painting people isn't very much fun when they stand there and make fun of you. So he super glued her to Homsar and left them for dead. Oh, I think I hear wolves coming. From the human wedgie. Oh, ask me why, Pumpernickel and why. In order to properly leave them for dead and not keep hanging around them for dead, we relocated to behind Bubses and started calling ourselves the On Point Kings. We didn't take no guff from nobody. Hey man, I know what it means. I was just seeing if you knew. Have you guys seen my moleskin journal? You want another belly button there, Harry Elefante? Whoa, no sir, heck no at all. Man, did you guys see me refuse to take that guff? I flat out rejected it. That guff never even had a chance. Ah, uh, that's what being an on-point king is all about. I hear somebody mention a pointy king. Doink, doink. Heck no at all. So you see, Claire, if it weren't for the stick and Marzipan's considerable resistance to death, the on-point kings may never have stolen the king of town's dunce cap and renamed it Lotion Man. Don't, don't ask. It was Strong Mad's idea. Well, I hope that makes you not email me anymore. <laughs> Hey, bread is a good time for me. Little singing bread is a good time for everybody. I cut the crust off in the morning light. Don't ask me why, Pumpernickel, and why.